no Nigerian citizen what his or her citizenship of Nigeria today and always should be afraid of any Nigerian government today or at any time in the near or distant future. We as citizens of Nigeria must rise and speak truth to power and defend the rights associated with our inalienable citizenship of Nigeria because they are sacrosanct just as we are sovereign. Nearly two and a half months ago, I made a video record urging the Nigerian government to shut down all her borders and all the nation's entry gateways to prevent the coronavirus from betting in our country. But no, they ignored that plea and did a direct opposite, allowing their family members who were holidaying in Europe and in other countries where the disease was already raging to come in before they closed the borders and the entry gateways. But guess what? They came with the disease and started spreading it in Nigeria. As always with Nigeria, we started our fire brigade approach to containing the disease, declaring two, two weeks of mandatory isolation for all citizens. But what are we getting? The whole process was messed up as even the government officials, including members of our armed forces, were the ones ferrying the disease from one state to the other. Now, there's no state in Nigeria where this ugly virus is not rearing its ugly head. And now they followed up with another two weeks of a stay at home order, which was even worse as the government itself at all level was responsible for distributing the disease through a sham food distribution network. Now we are here. They are asking that our people go back to work tomorrow, May 4th. To me, I see it as genocide, organized genocide by the government of Nigeria. I weep for Nigeria. I cry for those who are going to die because this is going to be epic unless something is done urgently. Today again, I once again call on President Muhammadu Buhari to declare another two weeks of mandatory stay-at-home order that must be complied with by all so that we can control, contain this disease. If this is not done, it's going to be a lot that the country will have to cry about. For you, the citizens of Nigeria who cry hunger, who cry palliative, to we sacrifice. Because we've been sacrificing since the past so many years, a whole generation of sacrifice of electing governments that don't care about you. What is two weeks that you cannot sacrifice in order to save your lives, save the lives of members of your family, especially in an environment where there's hardly any government presence? Please, I'm begging you, stay away from work for another two weeks. If everybody decides to stay at home, at home. No government will be able to come home and pull you out to work. This is my general plea to Nigerians. Please, on your own, stay away. Don't go to work. You are going to get infected because you're going to be in public transports. You're going to be in offices with people who already have these viruses flying over the place. Please, 
Stay at home on your own. It is your constitutional right. Stay at home. If everybody stays at home, no government will come and pick you up to work. This is a serious plea from me to you. God bless you all. And I hope at the end of this day, when this whole thing is over, we now know how to choose leadership and not choose leadership based on who gave us rice, gave us Okada, gave us uh, oil, gave us Ankara. The time to call it short, to put an end to this mess is now.